The Food Network is predicting what they believe will be the biggest food trends of 2024. Among them, the rise in popularity of white chocolate. Here to make a tasty treat that fits this trend is pastry chef Marla May Harvey. Good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Especially with treats. And I'm kind of glad that cauliflower and kale and all those other things are not on this trend list. We're doing something really me fun too. today. 2024 <laughs> is the year of white chocolate. Uh, that's right. <laughs> so tell us um, what we're going to be making today. So today we're going to be making my version of a little snack cake. I like to call them little Marla cake. So it's a red velvet cake, and then I fill them with a white chocolate ganache, and then we dip them in white chocolate. Oh my gosh, that looks so great. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. Let's, yeah. let's whip these up. So I have my white chocolate ganache, and I like to take it and just fill the middle. Can I ask you truly, what is a ganache? A ganache is heavy cream and melted chocolate. That's so, all it is? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, super easy to make, super delicious. Um, you can use it for so many different things. These remind me of like the little Debbie or Hostess snack yep. cakes. Is yep. that kind of what you're going for? That's only the inspiration for these. <laughs> only these are your take on them. So beautiful. Yes, and then I dip them, and then I like to add a little drizzle to them. This is also white chocolate. Just dyed? Yes. So I do a little drizzle on top. Tell me a little bit about, while we're decorating too, about what you do. Because oh. you have a home bakery, but you also work at a local shop too, right? Yeah, yeah. I work at Georgie's Corner Cafe, and I do pastries there. And I also have a home bakery where I specialize in heart cakes and all different kinds of funky cakes, cool colors. And um, I've been doing it for about three years now, and it's really fun. And um, I started it during the pandemic, and it's a nice outlet. And it's just brought me so many different cool opportunities, so. To be able to do it. Yeah. Can I try my hand at this? Oh yeah, there's some okay. finish right here too. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting into one of the yeah. ones. I just oh, wanna yeah. see if I'm if I'm actually <laughs> able, because I watched you, so you didn't put that much in. Is that the trick? Like, Yeah, you overfill? might have to squeeze a little hard. Yeah. Okay, while we're doing this, you actually, we were talking about Food Network Trends. Yeah. You actually participated, and did you win? I did, yeah, this was in 2021. I was on Food Network Holiday Baking Championship Gingerbread Showdown, it's a long name, and I was on there with uh, another person who specializes in gingerbread houses, and we ended up winning. We made like a giant greenhouse out of gingerbread, and we had to make desserts for the hosts, and it was really cool to be on there, and I didn't think we were gonna win, but we won. What was it like being on national TV like that? It was scary. Was it? Uh, yeah, but I mean, it was really rewarding. Like it brought me so many opportunities for my small business, but very, very cool. And I mean, if they ever asked for me to be back on it, I probably would say yes. You would say yes. <laughs> I don't know that I did this part as well as you oh, did. Oh, that's okay. You know, it still it looks great. Messy. Yeah, if you want to put a drizzle on it. Prior to this trend of white chocolate coming back in, is this something that you work with often? Oh yeah, I make these snack cakes a lot for the holidays, so I'm always using white chocolate. I think it's great. It pairs well with like matcha and coffee and citrus flavors, so it just works with a lot of things. So. And tell me about the forms of white chocolate. If you wanted to buy it or, or do something like this at home. Yeah, so what we're using today is white chocolate, which white chocolate, um, a lot of people don't consider it a chocolate, but this kind of white chocolate does contain cocoa butter. And then there's another type of white chocolate that contains like vegetable oil, but that one, this that's what this one is. So you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah, you can see how the big chunks there. Yeah, so this one's a higher quality chocolate. And then if you're doing something where you don't want to temper the chocolate, you can definitely use the white coating chocolate. But I prefer using actual white chocolate. I think it has a better flavor. I, I agree with you. Unless of that like chalky after. Yeah, because this is sometimes. Yeah, this is just hydrogenated oil, milk, and sugar. And this is really nice, high quality, like cocoa butter, milk, sugar too. But just and tastes better. These little treats that you brought, tell me about those. Yeah, so these are just my favorite pairings with white chocolate. So this is white chocolate and orange, white chocolate and matcha, and white chocolate and coffee. They look so beautiful and Thank so you. beautifully Thank decorated you. too. How did you get into baking? Um, I decided in high school I wanted to do something in the art field. Um, in the culinary school I went to, came to my high school, and it was all history from there. I have been in the food industry for about 10 years working in restaurants. I did food development. I was in food science and now I'm back in bakeries. So mm. this is so good. Thank you. I'm not even a huge white chocolate fan, but this is so lovely with the with the red velvet cake in there. Thank you. Oh, it's amazing. Thanks. Um, are you selling these at the the, the bakery? I am going to do these for my own Valentine. My bakery is called Made by Marla May, and I'm going to have them for special order for Valentine's Day. All right. Well, this one's all mine. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. If you would like to make these red velvet heart cakes at home, we will be posting Marla May's recipe on our website, kdka.com slash or you can just order them right from her and make it easy. We'll be right back.